Hi, my name is Rem, and in this mini-series we are going to implement simple CRUD application. CRUD stands for Create, Read, Update and Delete. We'll see how to implement this essential feature in isolation. In this episode, we'll create application and set up Redux. So let's get started. First, we need to install Create React App Package globally with npm install-g Create React App. Next, we run Create React App CRUD command. So after it's done, let's cd into it and open project in editor. Also, let's start application with npm start command. It's amazing how easy it became to start with new app thanks to this package. So now let's set up Redux. So first let's install Redux, React Redux because we're going to use Redux with React and Redux Thunk middleware because we're going to make Ajax requests. Great, now let's open index.js file in editor. All it does for now is just rendering root element to the DOM. To set up Redux, we need to do three things. First, we need to create store, and for that we need to create root reducer. Second, we need to apply all required middlewares to it. In our case, we'll apply Thunk middleware to create asynchronous actions, and Redux DevTools middleware to make our development easier. And third, we need to wrap our application into provider tag and supply created store to it. So let's do this. First, let's create store. To create store, we use create store function provided by Redux package. It takes several arguments, first of which is root reducer of our application. So let's input create store from Redux and root reducer from root reducer file. Now let's create new root reducer.js file. Here we compose the whole application state and we'll do it with combine reducers function that is provided by Redux. So we export default result of combine reducers function and this function takes object argument that describes our state. In our case, we'll include one reducer for games collection. And let's import this reducer from reducers games file. Now let's create new folder reducers and inside of it new reducer file games.js. So reducer is just a pure function, so we export default function games. It takes two arguments, state, and we set it to be empty array by default, and action, which we set to empty object by default. And then we switch by action type, and by default just return state. So in our case, right now, it always returns empty array. Now that we get store, let's apply a couple of middlewares to it. First one is Thunk middleware that allows us to create Thunk asynchronous actions. And second is Redux DevTool middleware that will help us while we develop stuff. So first, install Redux DevTools from Chrome extension store. Next, we need to install Redux DevTools extension package with npm install-save Redux DevTools extension. This extension gives us compose with DevTools function, so let's import it from Redux DevTools extension. And also we need apply middleware function from Redux package and thunk middleware from Redux thunk. Now going back to our create store, we provide second argument which is middlewares in case when we do not provide initial state to the store. Usually what we do is just add apply middleware function and we pass thunk middleware into it. But as we want to use DevTools, let's pass it to compose with DevTools function. Now if you go to browse and open Redux DevTools and click on state tab, you can see our empty games collection right there in the application state. And the last thing is to import provider from React Redux package and wrap our application into it. And of course we need to pass created store to provider component. Like this. And that's it. We've set up Redux into our application. If you found this episode useful, please support my work by liking it, subscribing to this channel, or sharing it with your friends and colleagues. Thank you very much for your time, and have a great day.